How's it going guys? What's up? Moses here. It's been a while. January 1st guys. Happy New Year to you all. Um, so kind of like a little bit of uh, an update on what I've been doing. This uh, Incinerate character has been rocking pretty hard. We made it to level 98, currently rank 2 on the Elementalist uh, leaderboard. Uh, but I'm not going to push uh, any more with this character. Being top 5 is enough. And um, I want to get going with the next uh, build. Uh, the problem is, problem is that I'm currently uh, incredibly unlucky with fusings and with uh, jewelers. Like, uh, remember last league when we finished the entire league, I linked maybe 12 or, or 11 six linked uh, successfully, and I finished the league with like 6.5 thousand fusings. So this league has been the complete opposite. I haven't managed to link a single item. Uh, this one that I got here is from Divination Card. Um, these here that I have are from Corrupted. Um, you know, these just dropped and they're kind of like reasonably rolled. So they're like Corrupted with some Life Resist. There's another one. Uh, I guess this one is from Bestiary or Divination Card also. Um, so what I'm trying to say is my Carcass Jack didn't link. Um, you know... Shavs didn't link, Soul Mantle didn't li like none of those things linked. Um, so I just got a bunch of a uh, couple of you know divination card, bestiary, and uh, some corrupted ones. Um, so no particularly good uniques we can make nice builds with. But I do have a build idea. I don't know how it's gonna work. You probably see over here in my inventory that we got the Zoff's Nurture and Stormfire. So, um, I also have uh, Jeweler's Touch, where I can just like use, and uh, with just one Jeweler, we can immediately make a 5 link. So, that's a Jeweler's Touch. So, we have a 5 link, uh, and we can probably make some sort of a starter idea build, but of course, you know, without the 6 link, this league with all the damage, with all the HP and resistance monsters, uh, and bosses particularly have um, you probably are going to need the six link eventually but to begin with I think it's going to be a pretty fun build and uh, this video is about this uh, next build idea that I currently have I don't know what's gonna come of it but it's just an idea and I thought I will share so basically what you see here is off nurture this bow existed since breach league but now it has uh, level 20 ignite proliferation so level 20 ignite proliferation gives more damage with ignite and spreads uh, the burn so when you hit one enemy and you ignite one enemy uh, the rest are also burning and igniting now there's 50% physical converted to fire damage okay and we are going to use uh, storm fire okay uh, we're not actually going to convert physical to fire. What happens is, uh, let me show you, when you put a skill like Lightning Arrow, which is what I'm going to base my build on, uh, Lightning Arrow converts physical to uh, lightning damage. Um, so when you equip it like that, and you see the Lightning Arrow says some lightning, some fire. But when you put physical to lightning support gem over here, it will turn 100% of your damage to lightning, and this will take precedence. It will uh, take higher priority, physical to lightning will, than the 50% physical converted to fire damage. And with that, um, we can then convert all of our physical. Um, the bow has a pretty substantial physical damage. It doesn't have attack speed, doesn't have crit. We don't really need crit, but it doesn't have attack speed. Uh, which is kind of a flaw. Maybe we'll try and corrupt it and maybe we'll see what happens. I'm so so found this is my only bow, but you know, uh, we can always take a little bit of a chance here. Um, but yeah, you don't really need too much attack speed because with one hit you'll be igniting um, and hopefully the burn damage will um, take care of everything, right? We'll melt stuff. So we don't, this build doesn't really rely on you know hits too much of course hits will do some damage but mostly it's the lightning damage and then with storm fire last line says your lightning damage can ignite so what we want to do is stack as much uh, lightning damage lightning damage to attacks um, 
on our gear and just burn stuff with the proliferation uh, clear packs and I think it could be pretty good. I don't know, I haven't played the Stormfire build before, but I thought uh, the fact that I haven't played it is kind of outrageous, to be honest. People have been doing lots of uh, uh, the Vine Ire with Ignite and lots of other stuff. Uh, I never got the chance to play with it because I'm playing Soul Cell Phone. It's kind of hard to find this ring to begin with and to get all sorts of other things that will, you know, boost the damage. Uh, but you know, I think the idea, like the concept is nice and, uh, yeah, so you got the proliferation from the bow, the revamp, and then the ignite from the lightning. And for that, I think I'm going to be using, uh, like it's not, uh, set in stone just yet, but I think I'm going to be using a scion with, uh, juggernaut and with either raider or dead i haven't decided quite yet uh so juggernaut gets rid of all the accuracy uh gives us endurance charges a little bit of damage cannot be stunned it's pretty solid ascendancy right uh overall i think and uh endurance charges are indeed nice and raider of course gives us the onslaught which is the movement speed and the attack speed and the attack damage and the frenzies um, and the permanent frenzy is an onslaught against unique enemies, which is very solid. A little bit of a chance to dodge. Um, so that's why sound, because I think for this uh, particular build, uh, you know, sound just provides a lot. And uh, it also makes the tree um, a little bit uh, efficient, because for this tree, uh, the idea is to use both elemental overload and elemental equilibrium so um, elemental overload gives us a more multiplier whenever we crit but we don't get any crit multiplier which is fine because our build does not revolve around crit it revolves around burn and you know damage over time and elemental damage and all that kind of stuff so whenever we randomly crit with something we then gain a 40 percent big 40 percent more multiplier for eight seconds and elemental equilibrium what it does is um whenever we hit something with an element it gains resistance to that element but negative 50 to both of the other elements so if we're hitting something with cold it will get negative lightning and negative fire resist so that gives us 50 percent essentially penetration and uh the way that it works is our lightning arrow will still deal lightning damage right but burn damage and ignite is always fire and so enemies will become you know less resilient to fire so the burn damage will be fire and so uh this will allow us to get even more uh damage against these burning uh enemies with uh elemental <clears throat> equilibrium <clears throat> it's kind of like um you know, when you're using Orb of Storms to proc lightning damage with a Righteous Fire, when you're not really hitting with fire, but enemies still get the negative resistances, right? Um, the use of Elemental Equilibrium makes this, makes this like, crucial that we don't have any fire damage to attacks on our gear. So, uh, not on the rings, not on the amulet, not on the, you know, st uh, Stygian Vice belt, any kind of abyssal jewels. We cannot have any added flat fire damage because if enemies are hit with fire, they will then gain 25% resistance to fire. And yeah, so outside of that, uh, the tree is, uh, you know, just we're trying to get as much, uh, we got some projectile damage coming out here, a little bit of resistances, constitution, uh, going, picking up uh, elemental equilibrium, a little bit of life, uh, elemental overload, some firewalker action. Now, of course, this is not, uh, Caspi is not really relevant for us, but this is a pretty big uh, fire uh, and elemental damage kind of path that we're taking. This is irrelevant for us, um, but we are getting some more life here, so I thought it's worth taking. Uh, cruel preparation, excellent life node, and, uh, and then we get the uh, path of the ranger, so that allows us to start from the ranger starting area because Scion. And uh, over here, we're just picking up um, 
you know, we got some life, uh, some attack speed, some more life. Here we got some projectile damage. Here we got some uh, damage, attack speed and damage over time. So damage over time will definitely help us. And aspect of the eagle, um, you know, this is a massive uh, node for us right here with, you know, some accuracy, damage, damage over time, attack speed, uh, movement speed, sorry, a little bit of life. Um, going down here, picking up some more life, and then we have uh, some chance to ignite, um, uh, fire damage with attack skills, uh, fire damage multi, uh, you know, and more fire with attack skills. Over here, uh, herbalism, some life, and all the elemental uh, nodes over here. We're picking up the uh, chance to freeze shock ignite because we want 100% capped chance to ignite so when, whenever we're hitting um, we're going to have uh, you know 100% chance to ignite whenever we hit with uh, uh, our lightning damage. Over here we got some more damage with bows damage over time, uh, acrobatics and phase acrobatics and over here we got some um, more damage over time with bows, uh, damage with bows, uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some life, jewel socket perhaps, perhaps not. I was thinking, uh, yeah, this actually may not be a good choice. Uh, and yeah, some more damage over time, uh, coordination, life, uh, some more damage and some more damage over time, probably you want to go through here for the damage over time nodes. And this is like an 87 tree. So I normally level up characters to 95 or 94 or 93. So currently we have like 170 life, but we can fill in uh, this and at level 92 having 195 life is pretty solid with still, you know, a couple points for a jewel socket here or, uh, you know, anything else you catches your eye in that kind of build so that's kind of like the idea this is uh, basically just just an idea of the tree everything of course can change uh, and uh, it's just just some idea uh, that I had that I thought I would share so stone fire and Zoss nurture revamp with some physical to lightning lightning arrow build I think it could be pretty cool uh, let me know what you think uh, hopefully I can start leveling up this character soon uh, I was sick for about two weeks and I took one month off and two weeks off of that I was like so sick I'm only now starting to recover taking a bunch of uh, antibiotics oh my god they gave me like the wrong uh, type of antibiotics and uh, it didn't work and so on Sunday I came you know it's Tuesday today Wednesday what is it today? I don't know. Yeah, it's Wednesday so on Sunday, I went to the doctor again. He gave me the right kind of, uh, uh, you know, antibiotics, and it works. So yeah, it could have saved me a full week of coughing and feeling miserable in bed. Th that's basically all I did. <laughs> it was pretty pathetic. But now uh, I'm back, and we're going to hopefully get back to streaming with this build, and hopefully I can, you know, man, hopefully I can, I can try and six link something this league. I don't know. It's been kind of rough. Uh, when it comes to like uh, links and all that, I don't know if we want to get too specific, but basically I'm thinking about stuff like combustion, swift affliction, burning damage, some flat added lightning even, uh, stuff like that. But of course, six link would be pretty good. Elemental damage with attacks, you know. Anyways, this was it. Thanks uh, everybody for watching. Hope you guys are having a you know great uh, Metamorph League. I've been having a blast with this Incinerate. Definitely... Definitely a very strong build, exceeded my expectation, and I freaking love it. So yeah, you guys uh, take care, have a good one, and uh, I'll see you guys on stream.